and has come to tell the tale. You're going to see authentic videotape of a true haunting, Perfect. not a reenactment. And during the course of this program, you will meet some fascinating people who claim to have come face to face with ghosts. The true story of a woman besieged by dark forces beyond this world. I moved uh, into that house. I, I thought it was a nice little quaint house. I was I lived in San Pedro. With uh, I was married at the time. And um, my husband and I just, we didn't get along, so um, I moved. Soon after her separation, she began to sense a presence. I felt a presence, like, right away, and right when I moved in. I think my, my ex-husband, um, we were separated at the time, he uh, came to the house, and for some reason that's when things started happening in front of us. The attic crawl space would soon become a Pandora's box, unleashing a powerful entity. I started clicking off some photos. It was dark, totally dark. I fired first, I fired second, and just as I fired into the third frame, something pulled this camera from my hand. And just got stronger and stronger from there. When the balls of light were on the ceiling, it was very frightening. I had just woken up from a night's sleep, and I looked up on the ceiling, and there were these lights flying around. To be right about here, which is a, several inches away from the wall, therefore these might be away from the wall. If that's true, there should be some light that's being reflected against the wall, but there's not. Extremely unusual. I can't explain it. Yeah. Everyone just left except us in the house. Things are starting to drip out of the cabinets. Nobody believes us, but it's happening, right? It's, it, it was fluorescent right orange in color, and it was coming out of cabinets. It was coming out of the sink water that I was doing dishes with. It was, uh, and it, like I, it was in the condensation of the water. The water was coming out oozy. From enigmatic balls of light to human blood plasma dripping from the house's walls, the entity seemed to intensify its actions. What's going to happen next? What's it going to do to me? It's just, it gave me very hard to even be here. I'd like to pack up the kids and go into Texas right now. I'm really scared. An unknown encounter, where before long it became a matter of life and death for one skeptical investigator. What's wrong? What happened? Jeff Wheatcraft was physically attacked in this attic of September 4th, 1989 by an invisible force that actually pulled him up onto a nail protruding from a rafter beam and actually tried to strangle him to death. I don't even remember being lifted up there when I was actually hung. I was hung in an attic. Jeff, here you go. Here you go. Are you okay, buddy? Oh. An unknown encounter. A true account of the San Pedro haunting, hosted by Ferdy Maine. Perhaps the most terrifying ghost story ever documented on live video. All the more scarier, because it's true.